Welcome or welcome back at any help and Cisco in this example you need to find limit when x approach infinity of x times sine over x and if you put infinity instead of x you're gonna get here infinity times sine of 1 over infinity that will be sine of 0 and sine of 0 it's 0 so this is an undefined form so we have to find another way to find this limit and that way is using substitution i'm gonna make y equals one over x and what's happened when x is getting larger y y is gonna get in closer to zero and also if i want to solve for x here i'm gonna get x equals one over y so i'm gonna use these three things and rewrite the original limit which was limit when x approach infinity of x sine of 1 over x that becomes limit and now you notice x approach infinity that means y is approaching 0 instead of this x I'm going to put 1 over y we see it here and sine of um, 1 over x that becomes sine of y so this is the same like a classic trigonometric limit limit on y approach to 0 of sine of y over y which is nothing else than 1 so limit when x approach infinity of x sine of 1 over x is 1. We can see the same result using a graphical approach. Once x is getting larger and larger, the function is getting closer and closer to 1. If you enjoyed this little clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.